Welcome to Guy Time, fellas. I'm Jamal Harris. Thanks for tuning in. Now, fellas, if you're looking for a great beer this weekend that's not only local but flavorful, you have to come to Shabim Brewing Company in Wilcock, Connecticut. I'm here with Rich. Rich, how's it going today? Give me the, no, give me the elbow. elbow. That's how we're doing it here. We're not letting corona, uh, coronavirus stop us. So um, thank you for having us on the show. You're very welcome. Give us, give us, uh, our viewers here just a little rundown of Shabin Brewing Company and just how you got started. Yeah, actually, uh, it's a great question. Uh, Shabin's been around for about eight years now. We yeah. started out in 2013. Okay. I'm originally from uh, Northern Ireland, so the name Shabin is Irish Gaelic, and it means illegal brew house. Oh, nice. So I wanted to keep that Irish lineage going and stuff. Okay. Even the, the the crest, the shield that's on the thing, that's my family crest. And okay. So, oh, nice. You know, we we started out wanting to be a huge, you know. Irish brewery and then uh, you know things kind of adapted and changed and so even our beers have adapted and changed over the years. Right and I see we have a kind of a, a variety of different um, flavors and colors here. Mm -hmm. Give us a rundown of what we have here. Talk to us. The first one is our Baby Seal um, uh, beer series. Uh, it started out with the Baby Seal dance party. So if I taste this, what am I going to taste? What am I going to experience? A lot of the juicy, fruity flavors that come from the hops. Okay. Um, and then there's a little bit of sweetness that's added to it because this one's actually made with lactose in it. So it adds a little bit of residual sweetness uh, mm. to the beer. What's going on here? Uh, this is uh, part of our Yum Yum series, which is a kettle sour series. So okay. similar to the Baby Seal one, where we have multiple ones throughout the year. We play around with a lot of different fruits, and this is our sangria um, yum yum. And Ooh. this has got grapes in sangria, it. Yum yum. Uh, it's got uh, orange, it's got uh, cherry, uh, so it's a lot of different fruit flavors thrown in, just similar to what you'll find for a wine sangria. Right. So, and we love doing this one. In fact, it's it's a sour, so it's a little bit on the tartar side. Nice. It's not as full potent as some of the like barrel aged sours. It's a kettle sour, so it's only done in a couple of days where it sours up. And then again, like I said, there's so many different ones. We have a blueberry one, we have a guava one, we have a tangerine one that we do throughout the year. Man. Oh, I love the flavor. I love, it's not overly tangy. Right. Um, has, it's still crisp and it's kind of refreshing. Even, you can have this on a hot or cold day. It's just That's right. easy to drink. What do we have here? Okay. <laughs> So, uh, as part of our flavor series that we do, we do a stout version and we do a cannoli version, which is on the lighter side. This is our chocolate peanut butter stout, which is similar to the cannoli one. However, it's based on the stout that we mm. do. So you're gonna get, and this is this is a, this is great for the folks that actually have a peanut allergy. We don't use actual peanuts in it. Okay. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you're gonna have a peanut allergy or have a reaction to it and stuff. We use real chocolate in it, but we use a, a, a flavor that actually emulates, you know, the peanut flavor. So okay. it's safe for people to, to be able to so when I when I sip this, what am I going to experience? Mm. Well, let's see what I get off of that one. All right, go ahead, take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I get a lot of the peanut uh, flavor right from the aroma off I, of it, I and then when I get I get the chocolate that balances around the peanuts. It's like eating a chocolate uh, peanut Reese's uh, peanut butter cup. Yes. Last one here, unfortunately. What we got? All right, so this is the chocolate peanut butter uh, cannoli. So again, we do this whole cannoli series. We have uh, pumpkin spice one. We do a caramel one. Uh, we do a chocolate cherry. Uh, we have a couple of new ones that are, uh, we're introducing. We do an eggnog one, a gingerbread. Oh. We have a white Russia, and there's all sorts of crazy like flavors that we go and play around with. So yeah. this is one of the ones that we just happen to have right now. Okay. Uh, but what makes it special? Why you want to come to the actual brewery itself? Uh, we we are, we're artisans. We play around with the beers. We're adding. Uh, uh, confection sugar to the uh, rim of this thing. We add a little bit of uh, powdered chocolate to it. And we also do other fair, uh, flavor variances. So when we do the pumpkin spice, we can add cinnamon to it and all sorts mm. of things. So there's a lot going on wow. in these. And it's all about the presentation. It's all about how we pr uh, prepare it here. So what you're seeing here, that's why yeah. it looks like just literally a disaster mess of a beer, but it's just all of that dripping sweetness that's on it. And so ah. when you're, when you're uh, drinking it, you're getting that extra sweetness and the other flavors that right. meld in with the actual beer oh, itself. Man. So this is what we're, we're known for. So cheers. Sanja. There we go. Mm. Oh, that tastes just like a cannoli. Fellas, what more can you ask for? What a great way to start off the weekend. Come down here to Shabin Brewing. You will not be disappointed. Come by, see my man Rich. They'll take care of you, him and the team. This has been great. Thank you so much for having us. Hey, you're very we welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Of course, man. <laughs> Thank you.